What's up, everybody? This is Jupe from Section 122 on ArgosEndZone.com, and it has finally arrived. It's finally arrived! It's the home opener here, Week 2, as the Argos host the defending Grey Cup champions, Saskatchewan Rock Fires. Before we get into that, let's take a look back at some of the highlights that we've had last week against Winnipeg. Yeah, was not pretty. Now, again, on the upside, the offense wasn't bad. Ray was about 75% completion on his passes, no interceptions, two touchdown passes. Chad Owens, the flying Hawaiian, had the punt return touchdown. But the defense was ugh, ugly, giving up four touchdown passes to Drew Willie. Not a slight against Drew Willie, just expected a lot more from this defense. Keeping in mind, of course, the coach did warn us this will be a progression throughout the season. It's gonna you gotta crawl before you can walk, as they say. So a lot of new faces on the defensive side with a new defensive scheme. Let's see if they can start rolling again this week. The Argos' offensive keys probably aren't going to change a whole lot. It's going to be an air attack. It's going to be a passing game. So now the challenge is going to be for that offensive line to keep that Rough Rider pass rush at bay. The Rough Riders had 10. Quarterback sacks against Zach Claros and the Tie Cats last week. 10! Just an uh, unbelievable display of pressure. So it's... Ray's got to get the ball out quick, and that offensive line has got to keep that jersey clean. they got to keep him upright. Now, the Argos running game was almost non-existent again last week. We've seen this trend for the last couple of years. But a solid running game, or even an unpredictable running game, maybe some reverses and some different looks in the backfield, might take some of that pressure off Ricky Ray. We'll see what the offense has got cooked up this week to try to keep that Rough Rider defense off balance that was just an absolute monster against Hamilton. Funny thing there against the Riders, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders offense didn't look like they gained a lot of yardage, but their defense special teams didn't carry such great field position. They didn't have to move the length of the field very often, if at all. So the numbers are a little misleading on the Rough Riders side. But without a doubt... Darian Durant is a straw that stirs the drink. If you can get pressure on Durant, if you can make him get the happy feet there in the, in the pocket, you're going to see some mistakes made and a chance for the defense to capitalize. Uh, the running game was fantastic this past week for the Rough Riders. They led the league in rushing. I can't remember what the number was, but they were number one in rushing. So this could be an interesting look here for the Argos as they had a lot of difficulty stopping the pass last week against Winnipeg. Maybe they can stop the run against Saskatchewan this week. Special teams. Special teams wasn't bad. Again, Chad Owens with the punt return there, and Swayze Waters had some re really strong kicks in the in the kicking game. So that won't be an issue there. This might be a battle of field position. It might be the irresistible force of the Argos offense against the immovable object of the Riders defense. So it may actually come down to the Argos defense ability to stop the Rough Riders offense. Keep that in mind. Are you playing the CFL fantasy football yet? You really should. Doesn't cost a dime, and the winner's going to get tickets to the Grey Cup in BC, as well as a suit from Moore's. You're going to look good, see a great game. Cost you nothing. Now, last week I had you get Ricky Ray dressed, which was not a mistake. The only people that picked Drew Willey to lead all quarterbacks last year were, were Winnipeg Blue Bombers fans. And Ray still did well with his, what, 281 yards and no interceptions with two touchdowns. This week... Look for a bounce-back week from John Childs. There was a lot of goose eggs happening on that one there. But watch him bounce back. The guy who led the team in receiving touchdowns last year, I'm expecting a big thing. He's going to have a chip on his shoulder because of how things went. There were some opportunities last week with some drop passes and didn't quite fight through some. He took some big hits, too. Don't get me wrong. They, are fo they did focus on him pretty well and shut him down. But I think this is going to be a big John Childs week. He's a bargain at that price. I believe he's uh, what uh, about 120000 which gives you a lot of flexibility for the rest of your roster. Dress John Childs this week. You won't be disappointed. So prediction on this week's score, this could go either way. This could be an absolute barn burner with over 100 points combined, or it could be a grinder where you're maybe looking at about 20, 25 combined. <sighs> Let's face it, we all love offense, so let's go with the former, all right? Let's say the double blue comes out on top in a 42-38 shootout that's got everybody coming out of their seats on a regular basis with big plays on both sides, all right? Let's go that way. It'll be more fun that way. 
That'll wrap up our week two preview here on ArgosEndZone.com. Feel free to like this video, check us out on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and feel free to subscribe to this channel. Let us know what you like, what you don't like. We've got tons of options for comments, and we love the feedback. So, 3 o'clock kickoff. Saturday, 3 o'clock kickoff against the defending Grey Cup champions. There's no downside to going out to this game. You're going to have a blast beforehand. You're going to have a blast afterward. Speaking of good stuff, all right. The Toronto Argos Cheerleaders Swimsuit Calendar will be available this week. Did you hear me? Swimsuit Calendar. For 20 bucks, we're talking 12 months of sunshine. Make sure you go out and check that out, too. It's going to be a blast. It's been so long coming. We're all excited to see this big home opener, have the Argos back in town. It's going to be a blast. Make sure you're there. Hey, stop by Section 122 and say hi. All righty? But until then, this is Jude from Section 122 and ArgosEndZone.com. We ride the rail. We ride it hard.